All right, well, if you guys haven't seen the cabin building videos, the fishing lodge cabin outpost we're building on Lake of the Woods, uh, the playlist is linked below. I think we've made six, seven chapters out of it now, and it's been uh, cool to see the progression for me. I hope you guys too. But anyways, we're taking Mr. Connor fishing. He's casting off the dock already. I can tell he's anxious. What, what do you want to fish for, Connor? This is your first time on Lake of the Woods? Let's go for some walleye, I think is the plan, and maybe musky, but... Walleye and musky, we'll that's a pretty good combo. for anything. We're going to, uh, we're going to do, I think, a walleye, a walleye shore, shore lunch, shore dinner, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, Connor drove a long ways to come here, and uh, we're kicking off his, his trip, work trip, working holiday. We're kicking off his working holiday by doing a little fishing in the Aluma Craft. We're not taking the friendship, I do want to take the friendship walleye fishing yet, but... Basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna drive around until we see walleyes. We're gonna drop baits right in their mouths or as close as possible and hopefully they snap at it. But anyways, here we go. All right, so here is the plan. This is one of my favorite ways to target walleyes in the summer because I like using my electronics to find them. I'm not a big fan of trolling. I'll do it when I need to do it, but I love sharpshooting. Sharpshooting is when you are looking for specific fish on your electronics and trying to catch them dropping right down on them. A tiller is great for that. Um, today, we'll probably get into areas that have fish, then we'll move around and try to pick off specific fish with um, with the live scope on the front. But one of the best baits that I like for fishing fast, if you want to slow down and then maybe the fish are, you know, a little more tentative, then I would drop shot. But a jig and wrap style bait is, it's just amazing. I, I don't know what part of it i think it's just the, how erratic it is that triggers big fish but it's a good way to trigger big fish and small fish it's amazing the small fish you'll catch on these things as well and they drop so fast so it's just a good way if you mark fish i don't think there's a bit you can get in their face faster than this as mentioned we got connor along his first time on lake of the woods so we're gonna show him some uh, show him some walleyes show him some shore lunch and just show him a good time in the sun we got amazing weather and we've caught a couple fish before we set up the cameras so basically what i like to do when i get on a reef you know, if I've already maybe scanned it with the tiller, then I'll drive around and on the bottom, I've got the reef there. I don't know if that shows clearly. And then I'll just cruise around and see if we can find some fish. Might be some fish in there. So that, yeah, like whichever way I'm turning the head. Right. So that's... That's probably just rocks, yeah. But we'll see, there might be some fish hiding in those rocks. I saw a little bit of flickering around that boulder right there. Like there might have been some stuff there, but I'm not sure. I don't want to just drop for onesies, twosies. I'd like to see, you know. Pod. Yeah. Okay, we got to switch humps. This ain't it. Ooh. Okay, there's fish right under us right now. We should drop on these, but it looks like there's more in front of us too. Might be a little pocket of fish in here. There we go. It's little. It's little. The old sauger. The old beer batter sauger. This is the best we've seen hands down. I don't think they're 30 inches, but there are fish all around us. Just waiting for Connor to hook one. He's on. It's small, but it's a walleye. We'll catch bigger yet. I was hoping. <laughs> Probably about the size of yours. Nope. That would have been dinner. A so with these jigging wraps, you know, a lot of people are used to fishing them vertically. You can definitely cast them away from the boat and snap them back. It's a slightly different presentation. Fish has to be chasing a little bit faster to get at it, but just in general, this is such a reaction bait. The fish have to be just ready to snap at it. They don't have time to stare at it too long. It rips by their face and so often they'll pin it to the bottom. we will go on your upstroke and smack it. Look, you can see that fish just darting down at you. Isn't that cool? Ooh, I saw more fish out there. I'm gonna bump us just a little bit out there. Look at all those fish. This is, you can see bait up top and then you're seeing fish, 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 fish. So I'm gonna spot lock when we're kind of right in the center of the school. Yep. Okay. It might kick us backwards a bit, the, but you can drop down already. There's some, they're not all super tiny. 
<laughs> He's on. All right, still not. Still not what he came to Lake of the Woods for. <laughs> There's a ton of fish down there though. It's like a carpet on the bottom. But you can tell by you can tell by the scale. So this is two foot grids. Yeah. When those fish aren't two feet. This one would look a little more substantial. He's on again. Oh, I had one too. Almost doubled it up. Uh, we're not that hungry yet. Okay. <laughs> Fish are darting around down there. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> that almost took the rod out of your hands. It almost folded me. Was it a fish? That I'm not sure. Something but stopped I, you. I, I would hope it was. Might have been a rock. Might have been a rock. All right, we got to keep rolling. Oh. There was a little pod there, but I don't know. Yeah, I tried dropping down here. He's on. Not yet. Not yet. It's only 2.30. There we go. It is small, but it might be dinner unless it's hooked on the side. Oh, we're keeping that. Not gonna get too uh, too particular at this point. That one's got loins. I mean, like there's fish around, but I just don't know how many are that size. Oh man. I got him. I got him. Feels like he's swimming sideways. They either slap at it and they get the hooks like in the gills and all over the place. Cute little guy. That'd be a nice fish for my friend Clayton Schick, I'll tell you that. He'd be happy with that one. I uh, I was trying to film a, there's a fish. I knew there was a walleye here. That guy will cook. Oh, I can see him just racing around. Oh, there we go. Well, we can bigger than that. Okay, so the boat will swing, but you can drop down here. We're on him. Snap, snap, on. Woo-hoo-hoo! He's got a little one, folks. That one should probably be dinner. Going to well? Yeah, I think so. I don't think we can be too, uh, we've been struggling a little bit. We got a walleye. Even though this may seem like a decent sized bait, you know, still catch a lot of small walleyes on them. So as far as the setup, I like for jigging wraps, like you do just lose a lot of fish because of, you know, they're really heavy baits. There's a lot of weight for that fish to throw around. So seven and a half, medium light. This is like a rigging rod or a hair jig rod. And it's just got, you know, a soft tip, which is nice. It, I feel like it keeps those fish pinned a little bit better. 10 pound braid, 12 pound floral leader. Pretty, pretty straightforward. There's fish slithering around there still. There you go. Putting a bend in the rod more than the other ones. Yeah, a little more than the other ones. Barely hooked. But he gets it. Well, Connor drove 18 hours for this one fish. Hold it real close. That is going to sustain him for the next three days on the island as he's wiring in our cabin. There we go. We need to feed him for the week. We don't know how long it's going to take, actually. Is that a fish? What is it, a rock? Should I be running for the net? <laughs> he caught a rock. This is real life. That's a beautiful rock. <laughs> beautiful, swam away. Right back down to the bottom. 
There, I saw that guy just charge down at it. That's more like it. Well, that guy is not going back. That guy is gonna be catch cook beer batter. And beer batter is kind of your typical fish and chips. When you think like English style fish and chips, the type of coating you would have, while wow, that fish was not getting off, is a beer batter style. And you don't have to use beer. Well, Connor, I think you had fished me maybe. I don't know about that. It was close. I didn't, hard to say. I didn't give you the best Lake of the Woods uh, first experience. It's all right, we caught fish. We did catch fish. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any excuse. Just, just couldn't find walleyes. We drove and drove and drove. Maybe we spent too much time looking around deep. We focused on like 25 to 30 foot rocky points. I mean, we did fine. Like we got, I don't know, seven. We kept seven. We're gonna eat probably three for dinner tonight and then we'll keep a couple for him. So he's got food on the property. But I mean, whatever, no, can't complain. The weather was amazing. But uh, now I wanna show you guys how to make beer batter, some beer batter, <laughs> walleyes, because we got a sale going on right now. And if you wanna buy beer batter, this is the cheapest it's gonna be probably all summer. So beer batter, this company's called Catch and Cook. If you haven't heard of Catch and Cook, um, it's a company my buddy Josh and I started. And uh, people ask me, how can I support the channel? I don't have a Patreon account. I don't have a membership thing. You can buy Catch and Cook. It supports me, my wife, my baby, and Josh's family. There's, there's, that's it. The, we're, we're the only ones involved with it. It's our baby and it's been a lot of fun. And we are soon gonna be entering the USA retail space. So right now you can order it online. That's where it's on sale. And um, anyways, we're gonna show you how to make it. First off, I'm going to cut up some walleyes, which if you don't know how to cut up walleyes, you can find a how-to video online. I might shoot one one day. What did you, uh, what did you make for an appetizer? Uh, some Uncle Ben's rice. Very gourmet. Wow, beautiful. Give me one more look. Yeah, sorry. That looks delicious. I believe it's... Oh no, the other one was jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can pour some oil in, and then I'll start whipping up the beer batter. Well, I kind of feel bad about this, but Connor brought how many a couple beers for his island stay, and we're using it for beer batter. So the thing about beer batter is you don't have to use beer. You could use orange crush batter, you could use Pepsi, you could use Sprite. Um, but on the back, there's directions on how much beer liquid you want to add and then how much catch and cook. I'm gonna be completely honest, I just freestyle it most of the time. You know, Josh whipped this up. If you follow this, this is the safest bet. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. So basically, I'm gonna put some catch cook in a bag, I'm gonna pour some beer in, I'm just gonna keep stirring it and I want the right consistency and that could be, you know, something you figure out exactly what you like over time. But I, I want it to be a nice, thick, crunchy, you know, fish and chip style batter. So anyways, we're gonna put some catch cook in a bag here. Ah, I haven't had beer batter in a while. That might be way too much. I don't really know. All right. Whew. Pour some beer in. I'm putting Connor on the spot with camera work. I don't know if he's any camera experience, but he's rocking it. No, he's more of an electrician. And I want the fillets to drip a little bit, but I don't want it to be like straight cake. That's all right, but it's a little, a little cakey in there. Got a little more beer first. I'm gonna do a little test fillet. I like using a fork for this. Give it a little swirl. That's pretty good. It's maybe running a tiny bit more than I want. So I might add a little more, uh, a little more of the catch and cook, but that's, that's pretty close. That's pretty close right there. That's pretty close. Another good use for beer batter is onion rings. I didn't bring onions today. In hindsight, I should have, but uh, I'm gonna throw some of the fish in here now. Connor says he's hungry. I'm pretty hungry. Beer batter is actually kind of cleaner because you can do it all in a bag. It all stays kind of contained and then it goes from the bag, you know, straight into the oil. And then as far as temp goes, I want to get it to like high 300s. Well, let's see if things are hot enough here. Oh yeah. Every time I do a shore lunch, my goal is just 
be like, will this make Josh McFadden proud? Because he is my cooking inspiration. It's got good sizzle. Ooh. Remember what I said about it being so clean? Yeah, not so much. Yeah, that's probably as much as I should put in there for now. Just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. It smells good. So the thing about beer batter is if you touch it too much, you will break the batter off, which I did on that piece. That's something you need to be aware of. You don't want to be messing with it quite as much. There, Connor, coming close here. I'll show you. Show you what we're dealing with. That right there is what you want a piece of beer battered fish to look like. Big crispy coating on it. This is a lot heavier than your normal coating. Look at that. That is your fish and chips style fish. Oh, ooh, did that hurt. Oh, it fell off the fork. Yeah, I'm all right. Wow, did you guys see that? That was almost a shore lunch disaster. I do find the beer batters a little more touchy with the cooking side of things. Um, not just saying that because I burnt myself, but uh, yeah, it didn't feel great. That's all I got. This is nice and clean now. I can just close this up, add a little rice. Actually, that'll be your plate, that's great. Oh, that's some nice coating on there. Tell me it's good. How's the fish, Connor? It's so, oh, it's just so good. <laughs> it is. Just look at that. That looks good. Like I said, it's a little tougher to keep the coating on. I, I mean, I, I'm still working on it. Josh would do this no problem, but. We got fresh walleyes, got some rice, and we got a pretty sweet location to eat it at. All right, well, I would count shore lunch as a success other than burning my leg. Beer batter on sale now, pick it up, but we gotta clean up. That is for sure.